Well, I think I actually didn't even have the time to think about it because I started when I was four years old. So I I, start, I was, uh, you know, was in, in school. My One of my classmates had a birthday party. She invited me and my sister. My mom took us to the birthday party and her father happened to be the producer of one of the most successful kids TV show in Mexico. And when he saw my sister and I, he was like, oh my God, can I have your kids in the, in the show? So my mom, my mom was like, do you want to be on the show? Do you want to you know, I was like, yes, I want to be in the show. And both of us were in the show, my sister and I. And um, and then he fell in love with my with my character. I was playing the girlfriend of a mini Dracula and none of the other characters, but one of my main characters was that one. And he was like, oh my God, I love Vanessa. I want her to stay in the show, like for real, like not just like once in a while. Uh, can we, you know, she's going to be now the wife of mini Dracula. So she's going to be a regular character and when my mom told me that I will be the wife I was like I started crying I was like I don't want to be the wife of the Dracula <laughs> so I didn't want to go back to filming but of course you know acting was already in my system and it was I think yeah it was definitely my destiny and my path so around my I kept I kept doing like some things for Televisa which is a TV uh, Mexican network uh, like you know Father's Day uh, promotionals and things like that and then around 11 not, like nine years old I did my first gig on, on TV and soap operas and around 11 years old I landed in an audition for one of the most successful soap operas in, uh, in Mexico was called Muchachitas and I I auditioned for that for being the best friend of one of the sisters of one of the main characters and my first scene was a drunk teenager so can you imagine my first scene and it was already very challenging but I did a good job and then thanks to that the same producer called me back for an audition audition for us for a main character in a soap opera I was playing the granddaughter of a very iconic super successful actress in Mexico and I you know I, I stayed with the part and then from there, like I was just acting one after the other, one after the other. Uh, and then I moved to Miami uh, 16 or 17 years ago uh, to work with the Latin TV network over there. And I was, you know, with them for, a, for many years. And I, would, I went to Colombia, then I went back to Miami. And then I was like, okay, I need to do some, you know, different things in, in my career. I was very, um, I was like, the villain all the villain all the time and I was like I want to explore something else like I, even though I had some like good girls in my in my characters in, in soap operas I had mostly villains because once you do a good villain then it's very difficult to to step out of that so I was like also LA had so many opportunities and I want to do the crossover so I moved here but I was under contract with them and I was back and forth and then people will tell me you you don't look Latina you don't look Mexican uh, and then it was like getting not very easy to be honest uh, but I was like, I mean, I still believe in my dreams and I'm going to keep hustling and let's see what happens. And then, you know, like life changed for me. And then, you know, real estate came uh, to my life because of a sad situation and, um, you know, very unexpected thing in my life. And it just brought me one of the most beautiful and incredible opportunities of my life because not only I did the crossover, but of course, for the first time I meet. I being able to present myself to the world as a, who I am as a person and not as a character. And, you know, with my story and with the way I see life, uh, if I can help some people, if I can help uh, others with my story and opening my heart to them and how do I see life and how do I think, uh, how do I take bad things into positives and how do I become, um, you know, like, if things get rough, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you should give up. It should means that you should just keep, you know, going after your dreams. Absolutely. Has like all that soap opera acting, like, did that help you not even for the show, but just for like real estate in general, like there's a lot of drama and closing deals and things go wrong <laughs> that should not go wrong at the last minute. <sighs> Well, I know I don't think that you know uh, soap operas will really prepare you for real drama in life uh, at all because also it was a completely different drama. I mean, obviously one scripted, the other ones are unscripted. So, uh, thank God. I mean, I don't have many like dramatic stories in my real estate life so far. Uh, of course, I've had my you know my situations where I fell out of escrow and you know like there was incredible situations happening and because the seller didn't listen to me you know we fell out of escrow so it was a little you know uh frustrating but nothing that was impossible to 
to achieve after. So I just kept going and, you know, it still happened. So it was, uh, it was very refreshing and, and incredible to feel like, oh, I made it happen. Did and you then, uh, go huh? on, sorry. No, yeah. And then, you know, uh, yeah. And then with the show, uh, it's just been, uh, yeah, it's just been different. It's just incredible because I also feel that um, it, it has brought me many gifts in the sense that I have met, you know, like Mayan or Davina or all the girls like Heather, like, you know, all the girls um, that are also inspiring to me, like become like successful, you know, like Rochelle, Emma. Uh, so it has a little bit of everything in, in, in the same office. So it's incredible. Did you bond with Chriselle right away just because she has a background in soaps and you have a background in soaps? Yeah, and it's funny because when I knew that I would come to the show and I, of course, knew who she was, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be incredible with her because she knows the background and how difficult it is to be also an actress. So now jumping into another difficult and competitive, uh, you know, career, uh, but with someone that knows how how it is in in, in acting, it's gonna I'm sure it's gonna be great, and that's how it's been. I mean, when I had my little moment of drama on real estate, like you know, her and all the other girls, but of course she, she was like, no, you just have to keep going. Don't don't feel bad. Don't feel like you're doing anything. And they were very uh, supportive, so it was really nice. Were you aware of like American soaps like Susan Lucci and Eileen Davidson and all these? Like, were you aware of like the landscape in the U.S. of soaps? Uh, not really. I mean, I, of course, I know, you know, American soap operas, but um, I think that, well, maybe because I lived in Mexico my, my most of my life, uh, well, yeah, until 16, 17 years ago. And then when I, when I moved to the States, I was working from Monday through Saturday, 16 to 17, to at least 14 to 16 hours a day from Monday through Saturday. So I didn't have time to really watch other soaps. I mean, of course, like maybe Days of Our Lives and all those are like super you know um yeah like maybe those i think i've, I've seen Mex in mexico sometimes or i don't know that the other ones they they are in mexico so probably that's why i didn't know them but um but yeah i, I was I, i'm aware that it's a different style because it's also they can keep going for years and years and years and in the latin soap operas we film for 100 episodes or 50 or 100 or 200 but we do finish we don't stay more than a year of filming if that makes sense that makes a lot of sense. What about season five? Like you, you started last season, season four, like how was season five of Selling Sunset different for you? Well, I mean, it was different in, in the sense that I almost missed half of the, of the filming because of COVID. So that was really, really hard for me. It's the first time in my life that I missed work because of health. Because even even when I was really sick, I would go to set. Like it was, but of course, COVID is a completely different story. And when I got COVID at the beginning of season five filming, I thought I would recover 